Elizabeth, I spoke with some residents at Oasis Trailer Park who told me they're aware of the contaminated water and that it's nothing new to them. They say they live at the mobile home park even though they know they can't drink the water. The owners of the mobile home park say they're trying their best to fix this problem. You can't see it. But the federal government says it's in this water, the odorless and highly toxic chemical arsenic. We don't drink the water from the trailer park because we know it's contaminated. About once a year, the owners of the park send us flyers about this. Armando Garcia lives at Oasis Trailer Park in Thermal, home to more than 300 residents. For the past seven years, Garcia says he and his family have relied on bottled water instead of their tap water because of the contamination. We pay monthly for this service and I think it would be fair if they paid attention to one of our basic necessities in life, which is water. The Environmental Protection Agency found the arsenic levels in the trailer park's water to be nearly six times higher than the maximum levels allowed. The owners of the property say they test the water for arsenic every three months and the levels usually fluctuate. Many of the residents have a theory about where the arsenic is coming from. I think that the contamination we have in the water here is because of the excessive use of chemicals by the ranchers in the fields. The owners of the trailer park agree, saying that pesticides used at the fields contain high levels of arsenic. Now the owners of the property have until the end of the year to comply with the drinking water standards. They say the problem will be fixed with water filters for the entire trailer park. The owners of Oasis Trailer Park told me they are working to install those water filters by October, but they say it's not cheap. This project will cost them about $300,000. The land the trailer park sits on is part of the Torres Martinez Indian Reservation.